Hello there, and welcome to my 19th 3D tutorial. And in this tutorial, you will learn how to use my um, model creator here to make models for Game Maker mainly. So, as you can see here, we have a nifty layout here um, with a grid on the bottom. So, um, first, let's get the basics. Um, I'm moving the view by clicking. Um, with my left mouse button and moving. Now, um, all right. Now to create a shape, because you're gonna want to do that to make models. Um, I just click on one of these buttons here to create a shape. So I just click that button. Now I have a block here, and um, yep. Yeah, so now how to um, change it? Um, all I have to do is click on it, and then it gives me these arrows on the sides and then um, with them I can move the block in that direction after I click it so I can move it sideways too alrighty now to do more with it I have to go to these buttons here and um, this one near here is resize so then blue, ar blue arrows will appear and so then if I click that then it'll resize it in that direction and so on. Same with the other arrows. And then this um, last one um, of the three buttons will help you to rotate. Like so. Now, um, now also another handy feature with this one is that you can also um, use this button here to color your model or just the um, shape that you selected. So say I want this color here. There we go. Now I have it. That color. And um, oh yes, for grids. Yeah, as you can see, we have this grid here. It's um, it's the Z grid. So it's showing you where Z is. And then this button here. And then I can turn on the other ones. This is the Y grid. Y grid. And then I could also turn off the Z one. So we just have the Y one. Or I can turn off all the grids and have just just the uh, X Y thing, and then I can also turn on the X grid. But I prefer this just the Z grid. Now I can also add many more shapes, as many as I want, as you can see here. There we go. More shapes. I can also use the scroll to zoom. And I can zoom pretty far in. And then, if I don't want a piece, like say I don't want this cone right here, then I can just press the delete button and it will get rid of it for me. Very handy feature there. Also, if I want to have two of the same object, and I don't want to have to redo everything for each object, then all I have to do is click Control C, and it creates an identical object right beside me. Same size, width, um, not quite the same place because I want you to be able to see it. So yeah, also the same color. And then, um, say I want to get rid of everything. Uh, then I can just click this button here and it'll completely get rid of everything and you get to restart. Okay, so now say I want to make a model. So let's just quickly start this. Let's to show you how easily it can be done. Okay, let's make a random shape for no good reason. So first I'm placing everything the way I want it. Okay, there we go. So now I'm just bringing it around. Okay, there we go. And now remember, this is completely random. I'm making a totally weird shape. Um, there we go. Now, this is an a special case where I'm definitely going to want to rotate it. 
So, rotating it. Like so. Perfect. Back to moving. Perfect. There we go. I'm thinking I'm using all the shapes here. Now let's color it randomly. There we go. Red, say. Green and yellow. Oops, this one needs to be moved over a little bit. Oops, not that one. There we go. So there we have it. Now, to save this model, that looks quite weird. All I have to do is press this little save button, and then this message kind of um, pops up, and it simply tells you that um, the code has been now placed. Um, it like it's been copied. So basically, now I go into a random 3D game here, and um, all it is is my it's using my 3D gex. So um, you already know how to use this. Alrighty, so I just um, stick in code here in draw event, go Control V or right click, paste, and then it'll give me um, a bunch of code, the code to um, make this shape. Now it can press play to view our model in my game. There we go. So here we are. We have a very weird random shape that I have made. And it works and looks perfectly in my game. So now, all oh, your shapes don't have to quite look like this, but yeah, you can get the idea. This is very handle handy model creator, and I will be uploading it, and then you can um, download it and view it in this in the description. So yeah, that is all I have to show you for this 19th 3D tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye.